Are you preparing for the RCA? Maybe you're finding it difficult to share your management with your patient. Then make sure you watch this video until the end. I'm going to share with you an extract of a coaching session where I explain a GP trainee how to make sure that her plan is shared with the patient. The patient is telling you they, they think they've got a heart attack. It's just brushing over. You're not being empathic and saying, I'm sorry that um, you've had such a hard time. So you should be showing more interest and engaging with the patient. It's almost like uh, the patient is talking with a robot or a computer. There's not much personal touch in this. So you need to make sure that um, you're building rapport with your patient, you're showing interest, you're empathic in your approach, sensitive, warm, because this would be very important in terms of the interpersonal skill. What's going on is very much a transaction. You're asking question, getting answer and you're saying what your recommendation, and you're not even involving your patient in the consultation to get the shared management. So you're just saying, I recommend that you have blood tests, I recommend that you have a balanced diet, I recommend that um, you have an ECG. This is not a very good way of actually uh, discussing the plan, involving your patient, and making a, a shared plan. So what I would have done, I appreciate that you've got um, this worry that you might have a heart attack. Now, um, I don't think this is a full-blown heart attack. You've had this chest discomfort for 10 minutes, and when you stop, it got better. So it sounds more like what we call angina. Have you heard of that? So angina is when you get narrowing of the artery. So when you are making more effort, like if you're walking uphill, your heart is straining because it needs more oxygen. And because there's narrowing of the arteries, it's actually um, stopping enough oxygen to get to the heart muscle. And this is why you have this tightness. But then when you actually um, stop and rested, the pain got better. Have you got any questions so far from what I've explained to you? Yes or no? So the things that we can do to help you, um, what we would recommend would be to... Um, start you on some medication that's going to help your heart. One of them is called aspirin. Maybe you've heard of it. The other thing I'm thinking here is a GTN spray. Maybe um, your dad had one. So what you do with this would be to use it whenever you're having any of these chest tightness or chest pain. What are your thoughts about starting this medication? Now, this um, problem that you've got, we need to take it seriously because there is also a risk that it could turn out to become a heart attack if we don't control um, the risk factors. I know that um, you've been taking medication for blood pressure. We need to make sure that your blood pressure is well controlled because otherwise you could get more problem with your heart if your blood pressure is high. So you see how you're explaining it, you're making a plan and you're starting them on medication. If you're struggling with the RCA and you believe that you need help, then I'd recommend that you click the link down in the description below to book a free call to see whether we can work together on a one-on-one -on -one coaching program. If I think that I can help you, then we can get you on the coaching program. But if I can't help you, then at least you'll get some insights. So this, this scenario, I would have got the patient have an ECG before seeing me, all right? I would have the ECG in hand, then I would start the consultation, take the history, and then um, make a plan, and I will have the ECG so that I will know which type of treatment we're going to start, what's the pathway. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's better if you have the ECG beforehand, rather than in your plan, then you're discussing, you're saying, I would recommend you go for an ECG, because then your plan is not very... Um, well developed if you don't know what's the ECG finding. So think about the setup before seeing the patient. What would be best for you to show your skills, how you can have a better plan. If you find this video useful, then I'm sure you're going to get a lot from watching this video where I talk about mistakes that registrars make with the RCA. Click the video to watch it. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.